what you want to say. Sup, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Starting it off strong. Uh, welcome to Car Bros Podcast, episode 31. The big 3 1. Big 3 1. I, man, I, for, I forgot we did that. <laughs> uh, welcome back. What's up to our patrons? Sup. What's up to our fans? Mm-hmm. Patreon is continuing to heat up. Blowing Thank up. you for that. Thank you for the recent additions. Um, hello to Carl Bernstein. Uh, <laughs> we're, so we were talking about it the other day. Um, no, it was earlier today. Yeah, was, it was, we're like, is Carl still like? Yeah, he's hanging around. He's 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 still there. But I don't know. We we haven't said hi in a while. Yeah. What's so up, like, Carl? What's up, man? <laughs> we, we're still thinking of you. Um, thank you for being here. Um, we have a very exciting and semi different episode. Groundbreaking. <laughs> yeah. We're mixing it up just a tiny <clears throat> bit. <clears throat> just a tiny bit. I think you're going to like it. Yeah. I think you'll like it. Um, just one thing I wanted to mention. I was driving down today. Today was a drive down from Northern California to here kind of thing. And I noticed that, um, there's this phenomenon cause I drive, I'm, I'm driving in my forerunner and it's like, it's not a very fast vehicle. So I don't drive that fast. Mm. So I do a lot of like moving over. <laughs> for people. Giving way. Yeah. Which is fine. It's uh-huh. like, it's not that kind of vehicle. Mm. And I just noticed that, um, when a expensive, when I'm in the fast lane and an expensive car comes up mm. behind me, I move over pretty fast. If there's like a Benz or something. <laughs> like you see it coming from a distance. You see it coming or you just like, whoops, it's behind me. You're yeah. like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like. You must be important. Yeah. There's something about, it, especially like a bigger, like yeah. an S class. Right. Like, wow. More substantial. <laughs> Foolish of me. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's probably got somewhere important to be. He has somewhere to be. Like, yeah. oh, I'm so. And it's like they, and they pass you and it's like, oh, like, I'll move over. But if it's some like fucking S10 or something, or something <laughs> yeah. you're like, just, you, my immediate thought is just like, what is this asshole speeding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, get out of here. Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, fine. Like, <clears throat> and the, and like I'll get over still because I'm not a dick. But it's just so funny how much I <laughs> judge people on that. Mm-hmm. It's just like, oh, man. Who is this executive late for a meeting? <laughs> yeah. Versus, I'm like, sorry. Yeah. What are you doing? Where do you need to go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, where do you have to be? You're not more <laughs> important than me. Like, I can't believe how much I was judging people for that. So yeah, I don't know. I thought. But that uh, kind of speaking funny. of being a dick and the same thing, sometimes like when I'm driving on like a two lane, not really a highway, but just like a open suburban street, mm-hmm. and where the speed limit's like 50, but people drive like 55. Yeah. yeah. So you like kind of like have a a fair amount of acceleration like from a light you know, yeah on a road oh, like yeah, that. yeah sure and sometimes there'll be like someone next to me in like a whatever shitty car that like they're driving like not super aggressive but you can tell they're driving fast yeah and like you know they kind of want to like pass you or just go by you yeah so like I, i'll always like if, if i see someone like that in like a weak car i always like don't i don't race them but right. i like <laughs> drive fast <laughs> enough to make them have to like get into it like yeah, i'm like oh look at you harder. getting into it and yeah. you're like chevy sonic uh-huh. or whatever like oh yeah let it rip <laughs> yeah. and then i just let them go but it's always kind of funny yeah and you can like i kind of fuck yeah. with people yeah but not really just like kind of <laughs> fucking with them <laughs> i always just keep up with them and make sure that they can't pass like when it merges back down to one lane i'm like because oh, yeah. i know i know my cruising speed is going to be faster than their cruising uh-huh. speed but like they're trying to get ahead of yeah. me and i'm like no i don't think so i, I just like forcing people to push their like pretty weak <laughs> yeah. cars like a little bit more than they're yeah. comfortable oh, yeah. to downshift like twice <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it has to go into like first <laughs> <laughs> don't, yeah, like, yeah. don't like pass yeah. you take pride in that yeah i usually let people especially because i'm usually driving the electric cars which so just like yeah. oh i can just adjust my speed yeah <laughs> just like instantly and silently i don't, I don't yeah. change gear right yeah electric cars are super good for fucking with people because <laughs> they can't tell <laughs> you're just like deadpan staring right. forward yeah they don't make any noise listening to their little like aveo <laughs> 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 it's like oh he's going for it mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah good times mm. okay so um, speaking of electric cars uh-huh. we have this is, this is possibly i think a car bros first we're gonna talk about tesla <laughs> <laughs> little little <laughs> company we finally company. decided to get into it yeah. here's the thing we're gonna time bound this because we were talking about it we we're like man like 
fucking Tesla again, really? <laughs> and so we don't know if the general audience is like kind of sick of listening. Tesla, let us know what you think. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm a big fan of Tesla, but like I feel like we talk about it a lot. So they just came out with a new model, um, the Model Y. The Model Y. And it is the like small crossover SUV mm-hmm. target thing based on the three well it's, it's seven seater so it's not that small it, the third row is optional right and they and, just, but does the body style change no and i'm guessing it's gonna be like a crazy for like, like it's for like kids yeah. yeah yeah so i don't think it's um i mean even the s is like way back i'm sure it's not that yeah, yeah i, I think, think it's like if you're like i would order that car without that rear right, right. Seat yeah. thing it look it looks like kind of a gimmick but it's cool that they offer it but um Anyways, they just came out with that. And honestly, there's not much to say because yeah. it's like a three mm-hmm. with like ex- five extra inches of headroom. Yeah. Or right. Something. They literally, it looks like, I they mean, just scaled, like Photoshop, dragged it up. I will say that par- it partly seems like they're, they may not be done completely designing it. You think so? Like, I don't know. Maybe not. Um, cause it doesn't, it doesn't go into production for like over a year. Yeah. yeah. And like so fall of 2020, fall of 2020 for the earliest That's yeah. crazy. A year and a half. Yeah. We're going to start building these in a year and a half. Yeah. So I don't know. It, I feel like the three was revealed like that too, right? They revealed yeah. it and then like took pre-orders, but like it wasn't going to come out for like, a year. It was at least a year. It was even, yeah. yeah it was yeah. maybe even longer than that. Right. Um, so it was, yeah, so that's kind of weird that they would show it that soon, but maybe they want to just show like, look, this is coming. And if like, if you're waiting for, yeah. Uh, if you're on the fence about a three and wondering what the Y is going to look like here, it is, but it was kind of a weird reveal It mm-hmm. was definitely a first for Tesla because it wasn't ground. Shaking. It wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people were disappointed. Um, I, I was a little bit, the I watched funny, the live spe- stream. Speaking of that though, I don't remember anything. Not that I really have ever followed the brand that closely. Yeah, the yeah. one, the X, like, I don't remember any like hype at all about the X. I don't know if there was hype. I just but, remember like, oh, what? Oh, like Tesla has an SUV now. Was the X and the S at the same time? No, thought, no. They the X came not. after, but yeah, I don't remember like, anyone like talking about it before. Um, I'm not sure. I think there was a bit, but it just had a bunch of like gimmicky shit. Yeah. The doors Falcon were really door. weird. Yeah. The windshield went back super far. Yeah. The like AC filtering system was. Not, there's just a bunch of like quirky, fun right. little Easter egg, whatever. And people were, I think, looking for uh-huh. that. I mean, I was. It was yeah. like, oh, what are they gonna? Yeah, I just remember like. Not even knowing about those until I like saw one. Yeah, um, and, the, and there was also not a lot of like long time between when whenever they announced it and then may or maybe there uh, was. I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I don't know. I think the only thing, the only big point I wanted to make about this because there's not, there's really not much to say. Right. Even though I will say I do like the thing. Uh, I'm not sure I'd have it instead of a three. But it's really just like, do you want more headroom? Mm-hmm. I mean, here, yeah. It's, there's really not much else right. to it. It's like, I mean, like a slightly higher seat. Or something. Yeah, it's like, it's. Do you want a different driving position, basically? Um, but the thing that I thought was funny slash interesting is, like, all of the business related literature about the three went dur- or the time when they launched the three, and they started talking about the why. Um, I think it was 2017 Musk was like, the Y is going to be a different platform. Mm-hmm. Um, we tried to build the X from the S platform and that was a mistake. And so we learned our lesson and the Y is going to be a different platform mm-hmm. from the three. We're not going to do that again. It's going to be this different platform. And everyone was like, w- don't, what? yeah. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Build it off the three. That's stupid. Right. Like, don't start over. He got a they he, I don't know. It's not really fair to say he because uh-huh. it's like tons of people, but the company Tesla got a bunch of backlash on that. They're like, "That's really stupid. Mm-hmm. You should like unnecessary. Work. That's unnecessary yeah. for a company that's already like struggling right. financially and all this stuff." And so they clearly backed off from that, mm-hmm. and they did basically exactly what all of the like kind of investor yeah. um, slash business right. literature, Critic like class, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, they're like critical stuff where it was like, "Okay, here it is. Then mm-hmm. like we'll just is a." This is the most responsible right. thing to do. We'll build it off the three. And so it's funny because the like audience kind of consumer reaction was like, this is weak. Mm. There's no, What's so special about that? Yeah, this isn't special when it was when the Y was announced. But all of the like kind of publication, whatever, all those takes were like, yeah, good. It's 
it should be boring. Right. You know, they're kind of these weird headlines I'm seeing where it's like, the why isn't that special? And like, and that's the point. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, you fucking have to say that <laughs> because two years ago you like went ape shit <laughs> when they said it was going to be this special, right. completely different thing. And so like, I was just noticing there's a lot, almost all of the like business um, related articles about the why or like the why is a safe move and that's smart. <laughs> You know, it's like they're kind of like covering yeah. their own ass because they were yeah. the one who like blasted mm-hmm. them for trying to make it. That's how it should be. But the audience reaction was like, fuck this. Yeah. Like, it's the same. It's yeah, boring. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't know. Like, that was kind of interesting. It's but, this case of. But there's um, also like no other brand that would have the same kind of reaction. Like no one gi- no one gives a shit that much when like Honda yeah. shows a new CRV. Right. Oh, rid- what? The ridge line. Why, why didn't you, why didn't you go the- crazy with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was just kind of like in there as a pattern of theirs that like their cars were right. like all these crazy events, features yeah. and yeah. stuff and events. So I don't know. I thought it was kind of like interesting to see because we were expecting the reaction to be really negative. Um, and so far from what I've seen, it's mostly like good, like yeah, this yeah. Is, the, this the smart move, the smart yeah, thing right, to do. Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah, but like. <laughs> the, the public is pissed off. Okay? You know, it's like, I, th- I think that thing will sell. I just, I just thought it was kind of funny. Like, Good. Yeah. It should be that way. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Okay. So John is super amped about this. Oh, so I've been watching, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. I'm sure on. some of our audience knows about the, the formula one, there's Netflix. This, there's this thing mini called series. formula one. Uh-huh. Apparently they yeah. called Netflix <laughs> and Netflix. Yeah. And they've joined forces and it's kind of like just a mini series. Formula one, like a race series. <laughs> Yes. Okay. It's po- sure. probably like the most popular worldwide. Oh, okay. Not very popular in America. Okay. But that's why I'm excited about it because, you know, it's not popular in America, but Netflix, like everyone in America has Netflix. And so now a lot of people who have E A not never even heard of Formula One or just aren't really into it gets to, you know, see this show or mini series. And Honestly, like I got into Formula One in like 2009, like really into it. And I would watch every practice uh, and every qualifying and every race. And like, honestly, I think that's like nine hours worth of why. I don't know. I just did. Like, I just Just liked, I liked it. You just found it. Right. Like it was jived with you. Exactly. Yeah. Like I liked the whole, you know, technology and just all the, you know, iterations on, you know, aerodynamics. A lot of the reason a lot of people in America like Formula One is so they can tell other people that they like Formula One. I don't really give a shit about Formula One, right? Which is crazy because I, I feel like I should, like, it's like the pinnacle. I should, I should care more. Yeah. But like, I, I just, I just nerded out on all the technology. Yeah. Just all, to- especially the beginning like, of the totally season when people how. are revealing their cars and like everything, yeah, yeah. you know, one team always comes out with this like crazy thing. Like in 2009, yeah. you know, that was a cool year too. It just, it just happened to be, but like Honda had just pulled out of the, the formula one mm-hmm. and the owner or no, the, the team principal of it was Ross Braun who used to work for Ferrari, but he had worked for Honda for like two or three years before that he bought it out from Honda. Wow. And so they had this like, and cause he knew they had like an, they designed an awesome car. Oh, okay. And so they had like six months or something. Cause Honda obviously wasn't going to make engines anymore. So they bought engines from Mercedes and they had to like shove this brand new engine into this car in six uh, months. Make it work. And they, that year they came up with like the double diffuser. So they had just like crazy amount of rear down force, down force. And so they dominated like the whole season, even though they were like technically this little owned, privately owned team. Yeah. Yeah. And they won the, you know, drivers and constructors championship. So ever since then I was like hooked and like, and like I said, watched everything and just nerded out. But I, I, never like suggest it be like you gotta watch it it's so exciting because yeah it's kind of like your closet mm-hmm. right hobby. yeah i'm just learning about this now but uh <laughs> well and then you know as i, I, as, fo- I follow monster jam the yeah. same way right. <laughs> i watch every <laughs> we're more into monster trucks <laughs> but then after that you know it, it just every every you know iteration of it it seems like one team just dominates it. Like in the nineties, you know, Ferrari dominated it. And so it eventually went on to Red Bull dominated it. And they just like pretty much won every race, like four years in a row. And it just kind of turns into like this background noise. Now, like I'd still watch every practice and qualifying and race, but it just like 90% of the time I'm just staring at my phone. Sure. Just waiting for some, something exciting to happen. Right. Um, and like so, how I go through life. Uh, <laughs> one eye on my phone. <laughs> Just waiting for something exciting. To so, and then it moved on to Mercedes and they did that. And so, uh, 
at the end of 2017, I was just like, I don't have time for this anymore. Dang. I didn't, I, and so I didn't follow 2018 at all. Oh no. And I still had a couple of friends that would talk to me like, Oh, did you watch the race? I'm like, no, oh. I didn't. I did you like, watch a uh, practice one? Which one? No, I'm just, oh, like no, <laughs> no. Uh-huh. FP one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, Netflix came out with this show and it follows the entire 2018 season. And oh, oh there you go. Um, so now I get to actually watch it for the first time, but I think I said this to you, but Formula One is awesome when you can edit it. Like when yeah. you can take a whole condense it down. Yeah, condense it down and just show the exciting parts. Plus, the, you know, they follow, you know, drivers and team principles and stuff behind yeah. the scenes and stuff. So you get you get a little bit of behind the, the human the human. Yeah. Well, just just the politics. Because the thing is, John, and the there's humans driving those right. machines. So it's just like a way better way for to most consume people, it. Yeah. Like it's awesome to just to like consume, instead of right. like, you know, wasting a whole you know, twenty weekends out of your year watching Formula One, you can just, you know, yeah. slam it all down in one weekend. I but, might check it out. You're you're kind of selling it. Mm. That sounds cool. But yeah, it, it was it's really I'm like halfway through it and uh Is I'm the idea them. that they're gonna do this every year. I hope so. Like Oh really? The, the, I'm I haven't looked into this, but um another reason i think it might happen obviously netflix worked closely with formula one I, i'm um, curious if because um there was like bernie ecclestein which i'm sure you knew of right like he was like the owner right like technically he was like majority or he right. like ran but formula not, one not anymore, for like 30 right? years yeah. yeah and then um this liberty media group the u.s bought, company yeah, yeah like this american owned media group bought the rights to formula one you know and in 2017 mm-hmm. i think that was their first year and uh, I'm pretty sure this is a, like their brainchild. Oh, it's okay. Like, um, this is their way maybe to spread the To brand spread, yeah. Bit. Because like I have people at work, you know, they're they're like, you know, just blue collar kind of guys. And, you know, they, yeah, they're into cars, but they don't, you know, they don't really follow yeah. cars as much as we do. And they're watching it and they're like, oh, this is so good. Like, I didn't huh, know. Interesting. So it's, it's getting, uh, hopefully it gets okay. more of a fan base. Even if like people don't tune into the races, you know, it's just. Yeah. What's get, it called? It's called Formula One Drive to Survive, I think, okay. or, or Survive to Drive. You heard it here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. John recommends. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's definitely choice. worth checking it out if you have Netflix. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it a shot. Um, I'll report back. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks for the hot tip. Is yeah. it all, or is everything out, or is it like coming out? No, no, it's it's like Netflix, so they just dump everything out. Like, Oh, they don't release it? They don't do a slow they release? They don't do a weekly release, yeah. No, it's, oh, okay. it's all, all, ten se- all 10 episodes. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> you sound really excited. No, I'm going to check it out. I'm, right, totally. I'm genuinely really, really excited right. about it. I, I'm always down to like check mm-hmm. out new stuff. I mean, especially if you say it's like a better way to. Well, it's it different is. than you say, like, oh, you should watch a race. It's no, like yeah. I, I, like, like I said, oh, I never like, suggested okay. people watching it because I was like, honestly, people are going to think it's boring. I mean, it's yeah, just follow to, like, the leader really most of the it. time. Like, yeah. and then it's occasionally <laughs> someone would pass somebody. And then, yeah, but. Okay. So, um, on the other side, mm. here's something that we can relate to. Right. Here's a little topic changing gears. Um, remember the Hyundai Genesis <laughs> <laughs> coupe? Remember the Hyundai Genesis coupe? Yeah. Dude. Remember what a big deal that thing was supposed to be? When it was announced, yeah. What, what year did that, what was it, like, 09? Uh, yeah, uh, something, something like oh, yeah. eight <clears throat> or something it came <clears throat> out. So, and that was kind of, um, Hyundai was like, Pretty weak, yeah. in general. They had the Tiburon, but from she, from like, but that was front wheel drive. Aside from the Tiburon, yeah, yeah from yeah. from like nineteen twenty <laughs> through two thousand eight, Hyundai <laughs> was like pretty weak. Yeah, um, and I think it was around like oh eight or something. Yeah, right? I think so. I don't like, know what. Changed. Well, they, well, they came out with the. Was, for the, the like sedan Genesis, yeah, yeah, which was like their like luxury car. But it was, yeah, it was right around that time where the Genesis was like their first serious like, like look flagship at us. yeah, yeah like we're that trying hard thing. yeah introduce that and concept <clears throat> form at 2007 new york auto Damn. national auto show the genesis sedan i thought was pretty badass yeah i was like okay fine i was just like yeah we can make a luxury car. yeah it's like honestly if you want to make an i mean i don't know how this is going to be moving forward honestly i guess this this is old advice now uh-huh. but like if you wanted to make a statement if you wanted to enter the luxury market it's like fucking in america at mm. least make a big bodied four-door with a rear wheel drive 
V8. Yeah, that was, it's like, if you're not going to do it like that, you're fucking up. Yeah, at the like, time, at least, that was the... That yeah, was the I mean, that's what I mean. It's like, now it's like, well, you probably got to go electric or something. Yeah, but it's like, crossover. If you're trying to do something like, ooh, transverse, like, right. V6, yeah. like, get the fuck out yeah. of here. That's not luxury. <laughs> yeah. You're going to try to, like, go up against a big body <laughs> Benz yeah. with some puny V6? <laughs> like, fuck off. <laughs> and so, right. anytime someone's like, we're making a new luxury right. car... Yeah. And in this case, it was like rear drive V8. It's like, I'll listen. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like at least it's an honest, um, it's an honest. Yeah. Attempt. But the coupe, I remember there was like a, so that's well, the sedan. Like, oh, eight was like a pretty weak time for cars. Really? Um, you think so? I mean, to not me, weak, but like there wasn't like a whole lot going on. Uh, really? Cause to me, yeah. oh, like late two thousands is Right when they started, they started getting better. They started kind of jumping the shark, I thought, because that's when you got like seven liter Chevy, yeah, you know, V10 M5, V8 M3. It was like kind of at the peak of NA mode, yeah. I guess it was like a transitional, but they were kind of like V8. The, they were still the kind C, of simple. The C63 went V8. Right. You know, Mercedes came out that 6.2 or 6.3, whatever they call it. But at least in terms of like lower end. Yeah, the there, stuff there, that there, we would there, care There about. was not like. Yeah, the stuff that the, we well, would care the, about. I think there wasn't a whole lot of like affordable yeah. Yeah. cars. I agree um, with that. Like even, that I mean, even the Honda Civic at that time. Like, it was kind of like a, yeah, you know, it was pretty medium. The like right. twenty thirty thousand dollars $30,000 range was yeah. like pretty lacking. Um, So that's why like when this Genesis Coupe you know, came out, people were like, oh, this is like game changer. Right. Oh, here comes. Yeah. You know, this is like a uh, cool, you know, like this, this is the new Mustang. Yeah. I was going to, I remember that. It just has a Hyundai badge. On right. It. Yeah. It was kind of Mustang <clears throat> competition. And then the car like came out and it was just like, oh yeah, there it is. It was okay. And there was like no, like, it, yeah, it wasn't like bad. It just kind of came know? and went. Yeah. And they like, you know, they improved it. You know, yeah. whatever they like added more power and it had a turbo and a V6. Yeah, it had a 300 horse, 300 ish horsepower, 3.8, which at the time was that's fine. fine. I mean, that was like, but to me, it's powerful. like I'm looking at it now, like, why would you pick that over a Z, right? Or, or and like, unless you know, just really wanted great. to save money, yeah. I mean, I guess it had back seats, but but it's like it's just funny, like, the, that car was like billed as like this big, yeah, yeah. And now, like, well, they don't even make it anymore for one thing. Yeah, I mean, it it developed a little. Uh-huh. It had a little subculture. It had its little pop, but yeah, pretty weak. But K- KDM, in general. yeah, KDM. It, it got it, it got it going. It but, certainly reached some. Yeah, but then years. now, at least around here, it seems like most of the ones you see are like pretty heavily modified. Yeah, or yeah. beat to shit. And yeah, or some or, combination yeah. of both, or, or combination. But it was just kind of funny. People were like, "This is going to become like the next tune. Like this is yeah, this is this it. is like the new two forty SX. Yeah, no everyone's going to have a like, no and it's a way like name. people sort of came true, but like not in like the right. It's more like it became the next two forty SX. Yeah, the next like yeah, because stance. only like freaking <laughs> yeah. like poor people <laughs> give a shit about yeah, it's it. It's like a you see a lot of them that are like sticker bombed and right like, yeah mismatch like obnoxiously fenders, large like, gt yeah. wing yeah they're pretty bad i always thought for me like i was such a fan of the sedan because it was like right. damn five liter v8 that uh-huh. v8 was pretty badass yeah, yeah. it's like five liter v8 in the sedan and then it was the coupe my first thought i remember thinking like holy shit a coupe like with a v8 with like, a v8 oh, yeah, yeah. like these dudes are nut. like yeah. hell yeah oh, no v6 who cares and it's like four cylinder and v6 like who gives a shit? Why are you calling it a Genesis? And I also remember, like, there are people like, oh, the four cylinder is the one to get. Yeah. Like, that's the one with all the tuning potential. Yeah. <laughs> but that was also before, like, turbos kind of took over right. everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think so it just, it, it's just um, funny to look back on stuff like that. Not, not even that, like, only a little more than 10 years ago. Yeah. That's just not, that just, there was no way that was going to become a big thing. Yeah. Unless that motor was like, you can get a thousand horsepower out right. of it or something. Like, it's yeah. just no. This well, the car just like real. drove like unlike anything yeah. that ever. It was an. It was a. Um, I think it had about the response that it they should. Were, yeah. It's like a turbo four or a decent V six, yeah. and you could get it with like a, a limited slip diff, right. like Brembo. Br- sure. You know, it's like okay, yeah, that's a cool option. But just you don't really see yeah. them at the track. You don't really see them no. at like well, they're just autocross, no right? It's not and like the motorsport world never really yeah yeah got into it. It's kind but of a little fart in the wind. It kind of became, but it kind of became like a street kids car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I wonder if the, the Kia Stinger is going to get not not. I mean, it's in a different price point, but it kind of seems like you know when that first came out, it was yeah, that kind of seems it like had a lot of hype around it, and now it's just kind of gone. Yeah, I mean that's true. I, you don't hear about those. All there, there's like a, a, a four month period where right. it was like a hot topic. Yeah, yeah. Another fart in the wind. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe next time. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to. I just haven't driven a right. Stinger, so I don't know. Maybe it's withhold cool. judgment. I've seen a few, and I'm always like, oh, like well, there's this moment where I'm like, do I care about <laughs> that? <laughs> you know? Like my mind's like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of yeah. like at first. My very first thought is like Hyundai, Kia, or Kia, or like you know, Korean car. Like who cares? And then my mind's like, no, keep an open mind. <laughs> and I'm like. Oh, I still don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like try spe- to care. Spe- like, speaking of those, I've always like wanted to make a joke a where you like mix up Hyundai and Kia and like try to get someone to correct you. Uh-huh. Like I saw a uh, uh, or like Hyundai Forte or uh-huh. something. Like it's a Kia. Yeah. Like oh sorry. Like you just like want them to, to correct you so you can make <laughs> yeah. fun of them. Yeah, I almost I bit my tongue there when John did. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I said Hyundai and he said Kia. I was like, who gives it? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah like, Either one. I, Even though they're technically the same yeah. company. Well, yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Expert. Yeah. Fucking crappy waste your breath. I was just hoping you regain your train of thought. That's all I was going yeah. for. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's usually because they are like the same company. Right? Yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. I think they might yeah. actually be the same yeah. company. They are. Um, the Genesis, aren't they, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't they split Genesis off? And it's like, like its own brand now. Right now. It's, it's, it's like, it's, yeah, they've badged it's it. it's purely the luxury. Yeah, there's yeah. no, there's no like entry level. The coupe thing. No. They shouldn't have called that, that coupe. Yeah, they were just kind of riding the coattails of their one successful car. Yeah. I'm not even, I'm not even sure if it was successful. Yeah. Well, it but, got, it got them in the spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. And like the let car, us, uh, and, let us know. And the, it also like it looked like a like a video game version of like a G thirty seven. Yeah, like know? it had a very okay. Like this, we're gonna base it on this, but like make it look a little bit different. Right. It looked okay from the back. Yeah. I thought the front was kind of wonky. Yeah. It's kind of weak. Yeah, the back was not bad. Um, any Genesis owners out there? Uh, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let us know if we're wrong, but we're probably not. <laughs> If you have a Kia Genesis, <laughs> <laughs> hit us up. Okay, so uh, moving on. We are going to try something a little bit different here. Um, this is like the idea of the segment is like kind of director's cut commentary. commentary. Behind behind the yeah, director's commentary, whatever. Yeah. Commentary for our old videos mm-hmm. no, just all of our all our eventually videos. yeah well i guess they're all maybe old. yeah <laughs> yeah at this point they're all the old, <laughs> the old videos the, arc- we, the archive we used to one time make um yeah so see what you think of this give give it a give it a whirl mm-hmm. whatever enjoy enzo's dream so yeah we're starting this off with okay <laughs> we, uh, we decided not to do our first video because it was pretty so we made pretty the lengthy. first video. We'll yeah. just jump in as like we made the first video and it did pretty well. Yeah. And then I distinctly remember thinking, uh, "Oh, oh shit! This, this is a thing." We like started to grow a very small audience. Well, like we didn't because we didn't know what that video would do. The right. first one. Yeah. And really, the idea was just let's make a video that we that had been kind of kicking around for a yeah, long, just long a time. Just a video. Yeah. And then we made it and we immediately had like a couple thousand subscribers. Yep. Yeah. And so it was like, shit, let's make another video. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's just like, oh, what do we do? It was like, well, let's make another one as quick as we can. And so I think the idea was like at least a month later. We yeah. Were trying we, to make we, it. We filmed like, it in February because it was my birthday. It was my birthday weekend. Remember we, we drove up. To your house. I think we wanted to make the second video like two weeks after yeah. the first, though. Right. right. Like that, we were trying to that, that didn't work out. Fast we could. Yeah. So um that's right. We filmed it like right off after my birthday. Yeah, it was yeah, you had the party at your house. Happy birthday to both of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's my thirtieth birthday. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And the next day we filmed Enzo's Dream. Mm-hmm. Um so we had access to a four five eight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking, like, we need to do something big. If the first video was that, we should do something, like, cool. Yeah, right. But, we, second but we definitely were staying on the, like, parody. Yeah, we knew we wanted it to be funny and a, a parody. But we also, knew, at the same time, we knew that we couldn't 
make a video that was like really showing the performance of the car. Right. Yeah. Cause like it wasn't ours and right. we're not even on a track. We're super yeah, weak. Like, yeah. It was like, it couldn't, it couldn't be like flooring aggressive it, burnouts. It, it couldn't stuff be there. a review. It, it couldn't be like a top gear style. Yeah, yeah. Well, it really couldn't be a review. Yeah. You know? Cause, Cause we, we just weren't qualified. Yeah. Well, and it's just like, yeah. it just could, we couldn't do enough stuff. And so I don't know how the, I don't really know how it came. Well, cause from, I assume, there, I guess though. Petrolicious is still around. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they've changed their format, but at least at the Probably time, <laughs> at the time it was just like, we're going to show this classic car and like profile the owner. Yeah. And it was, it was always done in this kind of like artsy, yeah, like hip. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the show, the guy like making coffee and like, right. you'd hear his voice and then like right. the car would yeah, kind of yeah, slowly yeah. come into focus. Yeah. This was pretty much like dead nuts, petrolicious. Yeah. Parody. Yeah. And, uh, I guess. Before, since it's not even in the video, remember, like, the coffee thing was, like, a big thing, like, in the Petrolicious videos. Okay. Like, remember, like, we, we looked at one and it had some guy, like, Making brewing coffee. his own, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of, like, elaborate, ar- artis- elaborate, artisan. Yeah. I wake up in the morning. Yeah, in my, like, wooded cabin and yeah. go get in my whatever. So, we were going to, like, show him making, like, his morning drink. Remember that? Were we? And we like went to the store and like it was, but it was gonna be this like super like St- immature stupid drink. It was, gonna, it was essentially gonna be like a milkshake. <laughs> Remember, like we went Sprinkles to the, yeah, 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 like we went and bought like chocolate syrup. He's gonna be like making a fucking like Sunday. Like, was that before. that video? <laughs> yeah. Really? But for, for whatever reason, we we bought the stuff, but we ended up not. That's right. It. We had a bunch of like whipped cream in the <laughs> fridge and stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. We never, we never. Did I don't know if we shot. decided it would have been like too. Yeah, <laughs> too, too much. much. Yeah, like the humor would have never got around to it. Or yeah, yeah, but yeah, I forgot about that. And I know so, we we mentioned this before, but like the night before we started filming, you stayed up till like midnight making the t shirt. Because oh, originally, right, originally, right. originally we were just going to have the actual Ferrari prancing horse, right? Uh, and then I Ferrari was going to be spelled differently, but then mm, I don't know. I think I that know. was, but maybe. But Garrett had just gotten his Mustang. And so I think the idea changed to be like, oh, well, let's just use the the Mustang. I forgot that the shirt was like such a big part of it. Right. Hand drawn. Yeah. <laughs> Hand painted shirt, which we still have. Uh-huh. Still, do we? Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, sitting in my closet. You should frame it or something. <laughs> Someday. Or just start wearing it. To like yeah. raffle it off. Put right. it into your rotation. Some lucky patron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the yeah, video. Let's start it. Okay. Let's, let's, I haven't watched. I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah. Um, stop it right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a long. <laughs> uh-huh. So I just don't know if anybody ever notices, but I always thought it was the bump funny. stop. Yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be like it was there on purpose. Yes, yeah, the camera yeah. runs into the end of the rail, <laughs> but, uh-huh. but it's still in the video for yeah, some reason. It's like in the video. A- amateur editing slash videoing. I've never yeah. heard go play that again so they can see. No, oh, no. that's fine. <laughs> we don't need to go they can rewind the video themselves. Yeah, I just true. don't know if I've ever seen anyone comment. Um, <laughs> that you hit the end because right. you never when you do a panning shot you never put the beginning or end of the panning right, shot. right. You just do the creamy <laughs> yeah the, the <laughs> middle yeah. Yeah. yeah a little editing humor in mm-hmm. there. sorry paying for itself so. yeah. Right. Um, yeah so he's on craigslist posting to the miss connections which oh that's right which yeah. sadly does not exist anymore yeah it's a real throwback that's too bad yeah you know, success and greatness because, uh, have always been in right quick. my and like compared to our recent videos, you can see like how bad the audio. <laughs> oh right, yeah, yeah. The, vo- is, the voiceover. We've gotten better at just like every aspect. Yeah, of yeah. It. It's like this was really well. This was what exactly? Almost exactly four, four years. Four ago. years ago. Yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah. Jeez, yep. wow. Well, it's more than four years. It's February twenty fifteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Still using the same computer. Though. Mm-hmm. And straight out of the gate, misspelling Ferrari mm-hmm. twice. Even <laughs> even spell check is letting you know. And, and the capitalized, the my. emphasized my. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like oh, Let's man. keep it going. Yeah. Family tree. My father, Spencer Stonebrook, who's a pretty <laughs> famous director. Do we want to talk about the name? Uh, yeah, you can pause it. <laughs> God, we're pausing it a lot. Well, obviously, the idea from the beginning was like it was like a spoiled kid, He's, yeah, like a douche. Yeah. Spoiled. Mm-hmm. Where, Where did that name go? <laughs> wasn't it like some housing community so or something like that? Like it's like <laughs> it might be. I think we just wanted like a douche. He's apologies right. to anyone named Stonebrook. Stonebrook. Yes, Stonebrook. Listening to this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe I don't know. But I remember, like, we're like, what should his dad like? What, do? Should, what should he do for a living? Oh yeah, we batted all this stuff around for a <laughs> and, while, and we settled on uh, Cinemax soft, director. Yeah, 
porn director, director for Cinemax. <laughs> working, working, working over at Cinemax. Yeah. yeah. Desire, uh, Animal Instincts three. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Didn't we? Didn't um, we like? Are those even real names? I'm, I'm pretty sure we like went and looked up. Like, what <laughs> are some names of some of these things? These are real. Yeah. <laughs> Desire. <laughs> so sweet. I mean, I've seen Animal Instincts one and two, but three, yeah, yeah. three. You haven't, you haven't completed the trilogy yet. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Is that the Mustang? That yes, the that Mustang. is the yeah, Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so then you must have been, you must have driven up. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. drove up. Or yeah, he did drive up. Yeah, yeah. Man, this thing is jam packed. Mm -hmm. Straight out of the gate, lots of. So <laughs> we used to be funny. Uh huh. <laughs> DJ career is actually starting to take off um, to the point where I took this semester off from studying business. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, I've just always grown up around high-end cars, just exotic cars, and that's what I'm used to mostly. I don't even remember where that Corvette came from. It was just parked at, it the, was gym. at the gym. Yeah, yeah. as my uh, as my <clears throat> buddies. I think we were trying to make fun of how similar they looked. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But they, it kind of just came across as like high-end things. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's fine. My name is Damien Stonebrook, and I drive a <laughs> Ferrari. That's the uh, the second appearance of the Johnny, the Johnny Quick, Quick Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Back when I was oh, yeah. of Mini. This is our signature shot of the video, I thought. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a sweet shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, so my first car was actually a M3 convertible that uh, I got as a gift on my 16th birthday. Um, unfortunately, it was totaled a couple months later in a racing accident. Uh, so didn't we... Did, we pretty much wrote this on the spot, right? Pretty much. Or less, like, yeah. yeah. I think we had like the general idea, but almost everything was... Well, that was our type of... Mm, the way we rolled. made videos back in the day. Like, yeah, we I planned out like, nothing. Like we got the car. I was yeah. like, all right, guys, I got the car. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do we, we do? Like, and then we just like parked it and like, all right, what are we doing? <laughs> like, what are we doing? Ad libs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so we just kind of like batted the, <clears throat> um, the lines back and forth until we hit something we like. Yeah. That, that sounds right. Right. But I knew that I wanted my next car to be a step up from that, uh, more power and better handling. And about that time, uh, guy on the water polo team who always tries to one-up me um he got a new porsche and so <laughs> that, I knew that picture we added these pictures like at the very end yeah like we didn't <clears throat> know we were gonna do the joke of like the, the wrong car right. and we just like found it was like oh what should we do and it was like you know some sort of porsche. Like it, yeah. right. and then like we ended on this and it was just kind of like a Two minute joke. Yeah. That was like the most commented joke right. in the video. <laughs> yeah. It was the like fake Porsche <laughs> thing. And it was just like it was such an afterthought. <clears throat> but I do like how the guy driving it looks like he could be on a water polo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On his way to practice. Yeah. 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 I mean it's a sweet joke. I'm not gonna joke. Whatever I got had to be better than that car. <laughs> And so I did quite a bit of research on Wikipedia and mm -hmm. um, that's how I ended up with this. One thing that really drew me to Ferrari, um, other than how much attention the car gets, is the history of Ferrari. <laughs> now, you're probably aware in the 30s, Enzo Ferrari went to the Lamborghini brother. <laughs> right there. I remember, I remember the, when we came up with like, it, it shouldn't just be like he went to Lamborghini. Like we specifically <laughs> turned it into At this brothers. point, we really started taking it. Yeah. I think, it, I think it was really like, this was when the Dodge brothers commercials were coming out. I oh, think. That's and right, that's where right. we got the idea that they were God, Lamborghini picture, brothers. Yeah. Picture sus. Four, four of them. Yeah. It's like, it's like, what is that? It's probably like a French revolution I don't or know. something. <laughs> picture is so, so stupid oh man that guy on the right mm -hmm. god that's, really, yeah how come one of them is circle <laughs> i don't know i don't know we'll never know that story I don't know. all right were we laughing like super fucking hard at that picture for yes some yeah. wasn't it like one in the morning or something probably like, yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I feel like i remember finding this picture mm -hmm. and then just on my couch with this photo <laughs> on the laptop 
crying laughing so <laughs> we're really immature back like then. we hadn't even put it in the video well yet. that's usually how like most of our <laughs> we were, editing things went we were just laughing so hard at the stupid ass and we weren't <laughs> even high at the time I still, yeah. Yeah. I still laugh at this fucking hands on their shoulder <laughs> so stupid All trying right. to buy one of their sports cars and he just was uh, not impressed how do you know what that was, was and, a Bugatti uh, or something came away from that so meeting declaring that I'm going to be the best sports car for everybody. Right. So, oh, so yeah, no. that shot took. I well, think, first, well, hold on. First okay. of all, there's few. There's a few layers of humor to that. But first of all, it's like that's the exact opposite of what Ferrari was actually, actually did. Like. Yeah, whole, it was, that's was, how Lamborghini started. Was the, like he was disappointed with Ferrari cars, so he started his own company. No, was it? I yes, that's the, that's the okay. story. Yes. Well, <laughs> well, well, the thing. Well, the, the biggest thing was like. Enzo Ferrari like notoriously didn't want to build cars for anyone. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. just like just, purely for racing. Right, right. Like, if he had it his way, he wouldn't sell the public. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to build the best sports car for everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was pretty sweet. And, and I don't think the Mario voice was planned. I think you just pulled that out of. Also, he didn't sound like that. <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> yes, and the extra joke. His historical footage has been uncovered. Yeah. Enzo Ferrari. At the time, we thought that. That's how heavy actually uh -huh. sounded. Didn't sound like that. Yeah, that, I don't know. Do you remember that took a lot of takes, mostly because of you. me laughing. Yeah, you laughing yeah. in the background. There are there's a Patreon video where we show some of the first year bloopers. There's a lot of, and there's a couple from this thing. But yeah, even before we got to the point where we were like recording bloopers, it was just like Garrett would just start laughing <laughs> off camera. And you had to walk like 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 a hundred like, yards like away or something. Some, yeah, like quite, I had to walk far away where I couldn't even hear it. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> yeah. even hear it, and Coin couldn't see <laughs> yeah, because like had. if Coin even saw you like laughing, even if you weren't making noise, it just made him laugh. Yeah, we yeah. had to like <laughs> had to separate us <laughs> and to exile him like a block away <laughs> while we filmed that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a tough scene to film, but it came out so good in the end. Yeah, yeah. it came out pretty good. And. Uh, you know, it became a passion of his to do so. <laughs> now, owning a Ferrari is all about appreciating the small cars. details on the car. And nobody does it as well as Ferrari. I mean, uh, I mean, just look at the tires, for example. I love the checkered flag design on the tires. <laughs> Such theater. I mean, it really brings to mind all of the Grand Prixes that Ferrari has won in the past. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Why would I daily drive a car like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. It's not your average daily driver. Um, the gas is expensive. And <laughs> that matters to me because I have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be my one of my favorite my favorite joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty good. Some of the Jack Diamond stuff I like 80, more. Eighty seven, but the eighty seven uh, slamming that eighty seven mm -hmm. octane. I remember we had to film. We filmed that one really quick too because the owner of the gas station came out. Yeah, he got all mad at it, us yeah. for filming. Great. Right. No fuck. Right. The that gas station, the sign at that gas station, we decided not to put it in there so there wasn't any like location info. Mm -hmm. But the sign said like the cheapest gas in town. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like, guaranteed. Oh, that's right. We'll, like beat anyone's prices or like get a shot of that sign. Yeah. <laughs> we should have had them in line at Costco behind like 20 people. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would have been it's the cheapest. Yeah. Self. And also the maintenance is pretty expensive. <laughs> Um, but really it's not oh, too no. bad. Oh. <laughs> no, the right. This is another good. Yeah. So we well, you should go forward to, uh, to, oh, yeah. to yeah. yeah. Go yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so so we had the idea like let's show him a Jiffy Lube. Yeah. Or like where does he take his car to get service? It's like yeah, yeah, like the cheapest. Yeah, yeah, let's go to Jiffy Lube. So we went <laughs> and asked the guy. Yeah, we pulled up to Jiffy Lube. In, in the Ferrari, obviously. Yeah, they yeah. were they were hesitant at first. The manager didn't want to do it. Well, well, he said, like, we'll do it, but we can't have the name of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the right. Yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah, you'll notice on his shirt, he put a piece of tape over his Jiffy Lube. Yeah, he covered too. his hat and his shirt. He's like, we just can't have the Jiffy Lube logo But thankfully, we'd already filmed the, the <laughs> you pulling into it. Yeah. yeah, we fucking filmed. <laughs> we'd already filmed you pulling into the thing. Yeah, I hope if you ever saw that video, he was like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> because to be honest, if it, if it didn't say Jiffy Lube, it wouldn't be as funny. Yeah, well, that was like the whole joke. Yeah. Yeah. It was Jiffy Lube. Super and the, cool guy. Yeah, yeah, and the funny thing is, like, this guy, like, we cut out the audio, but he's like legitimately like explaining like yeah. the, this Ferrari engine. Like he knew a bunch about yeah. it. It's crazy. Like some people, if you come up to them with a camera, they're just like 
get, get away from me. Yeah. Right. Other people just come along. And other people, this guy's like, can we get you on camera? And like, we're, we gave him a role. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that was like the first take. That yeah. Was the first take. And yeah. the dude oh, yeah. just fucking like, nailed yeah. it. Yeah. Like, and we crazy. even said like, oh, we're not going to use the audio. So just crazy. pretend like you're talking. And then he just like went on this yeah. like speech, like explaining like. Yeah, the, he killed it. I also read like Mike's reaction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Someone that you good. can trust. <laughs> it's worth the attention. And I like oh, knowing fuck. that when I pull up next to a <laughs> less successful person at a stoplight, that my car's worth more than There's house. multiple takes of that shot, too. Do I, I yeah, yeah, questions to about that, how I can afford it? Um, I mean... Uh, I mean, it's, it's not important whose name is on the title. You know, I actually pay for most of the gas. And, um, <laughs> Going back to uh, I, pretty sweet. Um, so I over think the last I was months, driving I re- with... Oh, never mind. I thought I was driving with my pinky there. No. <laughs> that is not... Speaking of cars that are like hard to put your elbow out of. That's one, yeah. that's one of them. That's 458, not that good. Let me tell you. I've grown to appreciate this car. And... I see it as an extension of my personality. Um, I mean, Such a sweet line. it looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sounds good. It's attractive. It's sitting it's on a towel. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to keep it for a long time. I mean, There's my cameo the right there. Yeah. John's arm. So let's talk about the things that hey, I do. You guys almost done with your little video? Uh, yeah, we're almost done, Dad. Mom also wanted you to take out the trash when you're done with this. She's not my mom! <laughs> <laughs> that was my cameo. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a pretty I, sweet. I played Mike's dad. That's a pretty sweet ending. She's not my mom. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny? Like, I have met people... Um, I've met people before, like, friends of friends... And they're like, oh, this is such and such. Da, da, da. And it'll just be like someone I've never met before. And they're like, oh, she's not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. like that's the thing they latch on to. It's like, ah, oh, shit, they've seen Carbo. This also kind of started our trend of like ending videos abruptly. Yeah. Actually yeah, yeah, the hard end. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty solid. We yeah. think it's going to keep going. But end on a high note kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we really don't know how to end videos. <laughs> yeah, that, that, <laughs> we that's still struggle. <laughs> that's true. That's a way to cover up the... Mm-hmm. Kind of like the Sopranos ending. <laughs> yeah. It was like, Bleh. there's your end. Anyways, yeah, that was Enzo's dream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fun to relive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll do this again. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so hope you enjoyed. <laughs> hope you enjoyed. I can tell the feedback's gonna be great. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, let us know what you thought of that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll try. We'll keep doing it unless people hate it. And even if they hate it, we'll probably do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'll we slowly, like it. Yeah, yeah, a little trip slowly. down memory lane. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is I was shooting some, uh, I was shooting video of my car on the side of the road. I was shooting photos of my car on the side of the road. And so I kind of drove out to like the country a little bit mm. to like get, get a nice shot. And so I'm on the side of the road with the M5. So it's like this red M5 on the side of the road. And a couple people, it was near a place where you would go to like, it's a good driving road. Right. Like it's out kind of in the sticks. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like the traffic on that road was disproportionately high to people who are out there to drive. Yeah, right. And so it was quite a few, it's like a more enthusiast <laughs> traffic. <laughs> And so I got quite a few like, hey, like beep beep, you know, yeah. like, whoa, what's up? Cool. Like, oh, cool. Because that really doesn't happen too often. Mm. Um, and I, I, this this thing happened to me and it made me th- just think about like, um, what, two, two different guys gave me a thumbs up <laughs> within like a five minute stretch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the first guy was like, ooh, like, like I happened to look up just as he was doing it. And he kind of like, like. Beep. Like he like got on his horn, like beep. Yeah. you know, just like the tiny. Like, yeah, and he had this little like, little like kind of like weak like thumbs up. Yeah, I, I approve. Yeah, I was like, hey. and like I've done that to people before. Where it's like, I hope he looks over here, uh-huh. right? You know, and it's like, oh, okay. you know, like I don't want to make eye contact. Like just kind of yeah. some weak. Joy to lean him over here. Like I don't know if he likes that car, but I like it. Like you know, <laughs> it's just kinda hopefully like, he gets what I'm trying to say. Yeah, right. like I'm, I like his car. Like it's just kind of generally like <laughs> unconfident. Yeah, right. you know, like praise to someone else's car and this guy did that and i was like oh yeah thanks man and then like five minutes later this dude fucking lays on the horn <laughs> like and i look up and he's like 
out the window. He's <laughs> like fist pumping. He's like fist pumping the thumbs up. It's just like yeah, you're like full. <laughs> like, like no, you're fucking looking at yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna he prays on to you. <laughs> I was like, but that guy's really fun to hang out with. Damn, yeah. And it's just like there's totally two like flavors. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, because when you're in a car, you have to go above and beyond. Yeah. You can't just be really hey, cool. Yeah. It's like you have to. And I'm not going to be like, whoa, that was so inappropriate. It's <laughs> right. Like, Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Fucking fist out the window, like pumping it and say it's like pointing at me and shit. And I wasn't like, what a weirdo. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, it's like you can go to those extreme levels right. when you're like, when you're heaping praise. <laughs> so it just made me think like totally like two types of. Like, honestly, there are probably times where you drive a cool car around and there are people who liked it, who didn't yeah. Like, yeah. You know. acknowledge it. You, know, like never you, know, you never know. And it's sometimes, I mean, it's kind of vain, but it's like, why did anyone like my car today? You know, like I drove all the way to work. I also wonder if that happens in like supercars. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, oh, yeah, for but, sure. But you're pretty fucking lame if you like see a Ferrari, like, yeah, Ferrari, cool. Yeah. I like oh, those. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good point. So yeah. So <laughs> Too loud. Too hot in the mic. Um, I had this experience. Did I tell you about this on the podcast? I drove a 458. I drove the... No. Four... Yeah, it was a 458. It was not the one from Enzo's Dream. Mm. Um, well, since we're on the topic. Mm. But it was a 458. And I drove it like 100 miles or something yeah. to, from one place to another on the freeway. So just like extended amount of time. Right. Like cruising. And I got hate in that car. Really? Yeah, quite a bit of people. I don't like that. There's people who are like, I, I don't even know if I got any thumbs up. Very few people will be like, cool. Right. That's what I mean. Like They will look at it, but they won't. But they won't be like, yeah. Yeah, but they will look. Uh. Is, they're clearly looking at it, like uh. slowing down and taking pictures right. and that kind of thing. They're looking at it. Um, And then quite like... More than once. One guy flipped me off. <laughs> just rude. Yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. anger. Yeah. I was weird. like, this isn't even my car, bro. <laughs> like, this isn't even. I'm sorry you feel that what way. What are you mad at? Yeah, and it was a really weird yeah, that's, that's a, that's thing. A, <laughs> it was like, fuck you. You know, they're just mad. Rich boy. Yeah. yeah. Like, what? I mean, it pissed people off. It pissed people that's off. Like, it was it was bizarre. Yeah. It was bizarre. And it wasn't my driving. I was in the slow lane at the at that point. Time. It wasn't like where a, where was this like where where were uh, you Northern California headed toward the Bay Area. That's kind of like hippie. I wonder if that's that I have some. No, it's certainly around. It's close enough to Bay Area where it's like, like there well, are young well, guys. Yeah, it's not, it's not like have, yeah. I'm I'm guessing. So I imagine just, the reactions in like Vegas or something would be a little different. Yeah, I think this looked like um, oh your app got bought by Facebook uh, right and you like cashed out right or something. I think uh-huh. I just I was blown away. I've never just the reaction. I've never had negative <laughs> feedback just based like on a vehicle in a car, based on the vehicle, not based oh, on a driving like, driving yeah, attitude. Yeah. I've had plenty of those, <laughs> plenty of that. But yeah, I thought that was uh, I thought that was it was a weird experience for me. Interesting. Um, yeah. This is this is related to it, but when I you know daily drove the Subaru, there's this thing called the Subi Wave, which mm. I don't know if it's nationwide or just a California thing or what, but like, yeah. you know if you're in a Subaru. Pr- particularly like WRX STI and you see another one, you're supposed to like wave at them yeah. and get it like that. And so when I first got it in like 2007, 2008, it was sweet because there, yeah, weren't, there like, weren't there weren't that many on the yeah, road it's like, and it's oh, like, oh, too. sweet, like a little community and stuff like that. An elite fraternity. Yeah. And then like 10 years, you know, 10 years of that, I, I was just like so sick of it. Like, <laughs> and especially because like the, the yeah. type of person that would wave at you was just a completely different, uh, yeah. you know, 17 year old. Yeah. Now it was just like a Japanese bunch of kids muscle. and stuff. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> almost 30. But uh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. That was but pretty now, funny. Uh, now though, like now that I don't daily drive it, I was towing it down to Button Willow for the track day, and you yeah. know, and it's like this fully like decked out Subaru now yeah. that looks like a race car, and like these two dudes in like a just a regular WRX like drove up next to me, and they were like giving me huge thumbs up, and then the I was confident like confident, yeah, up. I was just like, yeah, that makes me feel good. Now. Yeah, that's a different one, <laughs> right? Boost my pretty much yeah. any car I'm in, even when it's a pedestrian one, and I see another one, I'm always like, are we gonna like ignore? Yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> like I do it in the Forerunner, <laughs> yeah. and I see like five of them a day. <laughs> I've never had any 
anyone even remotely. There's a there's an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm about the like the Prius way. Oh, really? Like, I, 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 can't, I can't it. remember like what happens in it, but I know it's like part of an episode. Yeah, the Forerunner, I do that, and I'll see ones that are like the same color and trim, mm-hmm. and I'm like, come on, we gotta. Yeah, <laughs> twenty nine <laughs> limited. We gotta, yeah. and it's like no, nothing. Fine, even a nod. But that that also reminds me of one more thing is like. The people that just like are so out of it when it comes to cars. Yeah. When you'll be in like something, either you'll be driving something nuts or be like, you'll see something nuts. And the people that just like, don't even like yeah. flinch. Yeah. It'll, yeah they'll be, they'll be like, a, like, like a fucking like Ford GT, like the new one, like sitting right. at like a light. Yeah, no. Someone will be either. someone will be crossing the street and like not even like they don't, yeah. they don't even like move it's their like, eyes man, towards you know, it. It's like, that's whoa. how I used to feel driving the Fieri anywhere. It's <laughs> like, yeah, this is crazy when everyone looks at you. But it's also crazy. But like, who are the people not? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not affected in any way like, whatsoever by this view. I am seeing this and not having, I'm not passing <laughs> judgment. I have zero one. reaction. I do, not, yeah, I do not have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> or I do not experience human emotion. <laughs> Yeah, I always thought that was funny. Because um, the stuff you expect is right. like, yeah, you know, yeah, kids is. are like losing their right. shit and stuff. Adults are like, like laughing. <laughs> like covering their like, baby's no, I have eyes. zero reaction to Yeah, that. these people are just like, walk past. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care. Car? What's a car? <laughs> yeah. Dumbest fucking car I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Even if it's the dumbest car you've seen, you'd still look at it. <laughs> I would. Yeah. Yeah. What are these people? Okay, so I um, hope you enjoyed that little uh, yeah, change well, up. Uh, I think you, I think you've yeah, enjoyed it. We'll do it again. <laughs> um, thank you for being here. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you again to our patrons. Sup, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> hope you're still watching. <laughs> yeah, just, just a little shout out. Um, but seriously, thank you to all our patrons. Every one of you, you guys mean a lot. Thanks yeah. to all our fans. Also, pretty much if you're watching this podcast, yeah, like thank you because you're, you're our true fans. We mm-hmm. just hit fifty thousand subscribers on the YouTube channel, Damn. but as far as I'm concerned, we have about eight hundred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like, as far as I'm really concerned. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Um, hope you enjoyed. Oh, also rate this uh, podcast on iTunes. That helps too. Yep. Yeah. Have um, a good week. Yeah. See have you. A good one. See you. Bye bye.